Well, I can't say good morning, guys, because it's like two in the morning. I'm at Walcott. See, y'all know where I'm at, right? Anyway, I had to stop and do a 30. Discovered that I've got a small water leak, or coolant leak, I should say. Now I'm gonna have to open up the hood and see what it is. But first, I gotta go in here and relieve myself of my own water, so let's go. All right, so let's see what we got today from the store. Right. For our little leak, we've got some Delvac stuff. And these handy dandy new binders seem to be quite easier to use than the old ones. I really like them so far. All right, let's take the dogs for a walk. This way, Grace. We're going over here to the cat sign. Ugh. Run, little dog, run! They are so happy to go check their pee mail every day. 30 times a day. Hey, but on the bright side, I did not have a coolant leak. It was my imagination. Every once in a while, I get an engine light come on. For no reason, I can't ever find anything wrong. It's not throwing any faults. It just, it's a, it's a max force. No, it's mechanical. That's all. Yeah. Or electrical. Electrical, I should say. That's just the way it works with trucks. Strange things happen. But hey, it's been doing that for 200,000 miles with no issues. So hey, I'm, I'm okay with that. We turned the camera back around this way because, you know, the dogs are doing their dirty. I well, know they want to see that stuff, right? Well, there might be some of you guys that are freakos. I know none of you are. But you know what I mean. Out there that want to see that. I don't know. I've seen some strange things in some live feeds. Or I should say heard some strange things. But those new binders, they wasn't out back in the day when I used to flatbed. And uh, I bought one a couple of weeks ago to try it out. And I was really impressed. Uh, they're not near as heavy as the ratchet T-binders. And they don't suck like the snap binders. Of course, I'm still keeping the some of the snap binders around. And some of the T-binders around. I'm going, to be st I'm going to be sending out another truck soon. Well, within the next three months, probably. Or maybe sooner, I'm not sure yet. So I'm putting together a little extra equipment. I think I still have maybe oh, 15 or 20 binders at the house and another 20 chains or so. So that's plenty for another truck. But I don't want to give them all snap binders. Nobody likes snap binders, right? You might knock your teeth out. God, I've seen people do it. I've hit myself in the face a couple of times. It don't feel good. The girl wants her own keys. How about that? She gonna lose them. She's lost every set I've ever got her. I find them though. And I know my set are in the truck. But I'm gonna go make another one. Actually, I'm gonna make like six. So I always keep, keep them hidden around. Now you know that you can break in my truck anytime. Come on, now ain't nothing in there you want except for the dog. Well, maybe a few other things, but hey, whatever. But I'm not in a truck-friendly location. I do not like Lexington, Kentucky, and that's where I'm at. They're not truck-friendly. They're still stuck in 1986. A lot of them, not them, some people here, think that they're all haughty haughty because they're so near to the capital. But I don't care. Oh, there's some good dunnage there. Want to build a garage? I should have it right there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a key. 
Hey y'all, he has told me that I am in trouble. So yesterday, I'm cruising along, minding my own business, and over here on one of these charger cords, this little bitty teeny tiny spider starts crawling up the cord, and I see it, because it's moving, and I notice it, babe. And it's so tiny, I'm like, oh, look at the poor little thing. I'll just leave him alone. Hopefully he can find his way out the window, or occasionally we get a gnat in here, maybe he can live off of it or whatever. Then, he climbs up the cord, but the cord is touching the edge of my phone. So then, he made two laps around my phone, which agitated me because I can't touch my phone because there's a spider walking on it. Now, mind you, I'm still driving. So the next time I look down, said spider's gone. I don't know where he went to. I'm assuming he walked around somewhere. Well, then today, the spider comes back. Today, this little innocent looking spider is much more aggressive. This spider came running to my phone and then he put his butt up in the air like he's gonna shoot some string out and fly and hit me with the air from the vent or something. I couldn't have that. So I blew hit on him and he was real small, I said, and he flew up on the windshield. Well, on the dash, I guess I should say. And I looked down like two seconds later and he was back on my phone. So I blew him off again. No, two seconds later, he's back on my phone. I, he escaped after that. I'm not sure where he went to because I was getting ready to squish the spider. Hey, she's sitting on him. Y'all see that? <laughs> I was getting ready to squish the spider. The spider's gone. And I told him about it. And he is so mad. There is not very many things he's afraid of. But he does not like spiders. He's kind of afraid of heights, but he'll go up high and do, you know, high things just because he has to prove that he can still do it even if he don't like it. But spiders? Oh, no. He's mad there's a spider on the loose. It is as big as the end of a piece of pencil lead. And I'm sure it's plotting in here. We'll see. Oh, look at there. See that bike right there, guys? Mine was red, but it was just like that. I bought it when I was 16 years old. My brother killed it when I was in the army, but that's it. All right, guys, daddy's unlocking the ramps. This is gonna be the first time we use the ramps. It's all to load. Thanks. Yeah! 